A disabled elderly veteran is beaten and scammed by a man in McDowell County. The victim describes his injuries to News 13 and says why it was drugs his assaulter was after. Walking is a bit of a challenge for Floyd Morgan and often painful. Ever since, he says a boiler blew up in his face while in the military years ago. The 63-year-old needs medication for the pain, but it was his pain pills, he says, that in the end made it worse. I didn't realize that I was being targeted. Trying to help a new friend who needed a place to live, Morgan invited 48-year-old James Padgham into his home, the pair also staying in two Marion hotels. But the man soon became abusive. In the face, in the kidneys, in the back, kicked me. Uh, uh, I could wake up in the middle of the night and he'd start slapping me. And uh, he wouldn't even let me go to the bathroom. Investigators say Padgham forced him to sell his belongings and stole his money, threatening and abusing him to cooperate. Mr. Morgan is a very trusting individual um, and uh, I think easily in intimidated, easily taken advantage of, uh, has a very good heart. I'd try and defend myself and, and he'd get even more violent. Morgan says Padgham was after his medication. He would beat me till I'd have injuries and I'd have to have other medicine. It's two long months Morgan wishes he could erase. Everything, I'm ashamed of this. But I have to speak out because this man does not deserve to be out on the street to harm anybody else. A doctor at the VA hospital noticed the signs of abuse and contacted authorities. Only then did Morgan escape the abuse. Be very, very careful who you trust. He is in better physical condition, but will always carry the pain. It's kind of sick. And Morgan says Padgham stole his $1,000 check each month, along with forcing him to borrow thousands from family members, all going straight to Padgham. He's charged with one misdemeanor count of simple assault on a handicapped person, one felony count each of exploitation of the disabled or elderly and felony extortation. He is being held on a $25,000 bond.